everybody. Bye. <laughs> I love them. the grand finale of Columbus Day. By the way, Papa Ron and Aunt Jean love you both if you are watching. And we love John Florell. And I have to say, this is something we actually haven't seen on the air in quite a while. <laughs> well, you're like a party waiting to happen, aren't you? <laughs> hey, you just push the button and look at it go. It's, it's the Rotato Express. <laughs> It, uh, it peels just about every fruit and vegetable you would ever want to peel, but without having to deal with those, uh, you know, old-fashioned potato peelers. Right. But, you know, <laughs> where were you when my poor grandmother with her arthritis would peel potato after potato right. after potato for Thanksgiving, <laughs> for the scalloped potatoes? I mean, yes, we call it the rotato. Yeah. <laughs> but like you said, John, you're going to do a lot more than just oh, potatoes yeah. with this. Yeah. And it's not just a peeler, okay? You'll yeah. notice it makes these long ribbons like this, okay? So for hash brown potatoes, it'll be amazing for hash brown potatoes. Yeah. In fact, let me just reach over here. I'll put this right out oh, that's front. Pretty. You can kind of show you some of the things that you can do with the peels and uh, not only the peels, yeah. but also with the potato itself. When you have it ribboned like this, yeah. and again, all you do, it, it automatically shuts off. You turn it on. All you do is, uh, here, here's how simple this is. I'm going to take this potato out, okay? okay. I'm going to start with a brand new one just to show you. All you do is take your potato, place it on the bottom prongs just like this. Okay, right. this sets right on your countertop or tabletop. You press the arm down on top, okay. raise up the cutting arm, and you push this little red button. Right. And that's all it takes, and just look at it go. I mean, it perfectly peels your potatoes. At each and every time without even having to touch it. Oh, the nice. The kids can peel their own fruits oh, and vegetables yes, now. Oh, yes, <laughs> You don't have to worry that. about ever cutting yourself. You don't have to worry about, you know, uh, uh, dropping the peeler down the garbage disposal. Right. Everything happens right there on your countertop or tabletop. And look at this. Okay. One continuous peel, okay? Again, it's perfect for hash browns, but I'm going to take this peel just to show you this, okay? <laughs> to show you. Oh, oh, it broke. Oh, well. Here, watch this. Look at this. This is that one. Do you want my peel. help? Okay. okay. Yeah, you might. We want, we could jump rope with right. with that piece, <laughs> and then we, look. This is. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Going and you home. Curl Bye. That up on a plate, put it in the frying pan, right That's in the butter. That's crazy. Or, <laughs> hey, Daryl. Uh, Daryl's the man with the plan tonight. I, I don't know if we have something that could just uh, showcase the flex pay does expire today. I should point out. So this is the grand finale for all of our Columbus Day weekend. You know, big holiday event. Of course, it does qualify for extended holiday return policy. We have not seen this on the air in quite some time. And and obviously it makes sense with the holidays right around the corner, but no kidding, it, we know fresh is best. And there's usually a lot of waste when you're using right. that fresh produce. Not only that though, it's pretty and it's fun. Yes, it's a blast. Yeah. And here, here's another thing you can do with this too, okay? Okay. Take your potato, instead of just putting it in whole, here's a little tip, okay? I'm gonna, here, let me move this over to the side right. so you can see what I'm doing. I'm gonna take a knife and I'm just gonna score the potato about four times as I go around here. I can oh. do, or, or five times, all it doesn't right. matter. But all you do is go around like this score it first okay yeah. to the center just with the tip of a knife and now watch what happens because for hash browns in the morning yeah. this is perfect for hash browns because now I'm getting instead of getting one long continuous peel look at this you're making oh. hash browns I was wondering right. why you were doing that I'm <laughs> like what is that gonna do oh, and, that's and cool. you don't even have to do anything instead no. of busting your nails and knuckles on one of those uh, four-sided yeah. tin can graters but you know where you're gonna love this too is if you're into zucchini pastas now I got to show you real quick Underneath here, there's a place for four AA batteries, or you can hook it right up to your, uh, right up to a power. It's got a power cord that comes with it, okay. and it's got extra uh, blades inside, extra peelers. Gotcha. Okay, that piece right there is replaceable. You can, there's two extra ones down inside here, and watch this now. Just for your zucchini pastas. Hey, zucchini pasta is one of the one of the most uh, more popular things these sure. days Healthy. because it's carb free. Right. It's, it's ca basically calorie free. <laughs> right. I mean, and, and and we look at this, you can make mounds and mounds oh, of zucchini pasta, me? zucchini spaghetti, right. in, that, in a matter of seconds or minutes, really, with this machine. You know what's so nuts? <laughs> I have tried to do that by hand with a vegetable peeler. Oh, and, yeah. And while, yes, technically it works, it's never precise, it's never right. perfect. So and using those spiralizers yeah. and stuff, you know. It's usually again, a lot of work, All basically. you do is raise it up to the top, you push the button, yep. and it just goes and goes and goes yeah. and goes. Well, and the best part <laughs> is you're not even babysitting it. I mean, right. notice, John.
John isn't even touching it. Hey, just real quickly, all you have to do is choose your color of choice. So we've got my red, you know, I love red. There's our black. And then uh, I think, Daryl, are we calling that green? Oh, we are calling it green in the system. We ain't got too fancy. Okay. Sometimes yeah, we right. come up with fancy <laughs> names. <laughs> oh, you're even doing an we apple. We've got this zucchini going over here. You yeah. want to peel an apple? Have the kids grab an apple, put it in the Rotato Express. Now the kids can peel their own apples without, hey, hey mom, dad, can you peel an apple for me? No. Now you can do it yourself. Yeah. It sits right on your on your countertop. It fits in a drawer or in a cabinet. But again, look at this. One continuous apple. Look at this. Yeah. Perfect. Hey, if you're into baking, oh, you'll for love this sure. for garnishing. Okay, that apple peel. <laughs> again, it's a one continuous piece. And all you do is raise that arm up yeah. to the top. You press down on that one red button right there. Oh, and the rotator just goes to town. It peeling does. and peeling and peeling. But you know, I talked to my mom. It's apple season in Minnesota, which oh, I'm yeah. so bummed I missed this year. And in New York. Yeah, and, and New yeah, York, exactly. I mean, but that's half the reason that we don't make the homemade apple pie or the apple tart right. or the apple dumplings, because, you know, who wants to sit and, you know, peel by hand well, all the apples? And if you're into baking, try this, okay? How about lemon rind or orange rind? Oh, for sure. How about for garnishing? For, you take that rind and you wrap that up on the top of a cake or yeah. a pie as a garnish. A martini. And, or, or a martini. <laughs> <laughs> if you're into the infused Just waters. saying. I mean, look at, just smell that. You can smell yeah, that. You can. Fresh. Orange right here. I know. I mean, it's oh, amazing. Man. And you when know what's it's so fresh funny? Like I love oranges, but part of the reason I don't eat them is because I, I, I love the smell once they're peeled, but I don't like the smell of the peel on my hand right. and underneath my fingernails for hours and hours on end. So this is a perfect solution. And the other thing about this is, especially with like a lemon, yes. John, because of the pith is very, very bitter. Yes. I mean, that you don't want that in anything. That's right. You, you never just have to. Want that you rind. just yes. want that rind. That outer layer of yeah. the skin, and so that's, that's what it's doing. It's giving you that perfectly each and every time. It really is. Of course, it's made for potatoes. And again, I'll, I'll just put a potato in here because it doesn't matter the shape of the potato either. Can you see how this arm is spring-loaded? Okay. Yep. As it goes around, okay, it actually moves in and out to it compensate does. for whatever shape the vegetable or fruit is yeah. that you're peeling. So you don't miss anything. But, oh, but you're you, right. <laughs> right. Yeah, it's so funny so when you So even say those little that. divots and dents and everything yeah. else, it gets in between there. Instead of using those peelers where oh. you have to sit there with the, in the palm of your hand yeah. and they do all that stuff. And, you know, it, it'll peel, again, just about anything. We just peeled this potato. Here, I've got a carrot over here, but let's pull this, or the, not carrot. Here, let me pull that apple out. I'll put a mango say, that's, in that's here. That's quite because, a carrot. <laughs> yeah. We'll put a mango in here because okay. you can peel just about anything that you would want with the Rotato yeah. Express. Razor sharp blade. Okay. All you do is push the button. Oh, wow. And even for these mangoes, for avocados, for... Uh, just about any fruit right. or vegetable, you, all you do is push the button. Yeah. And it does all the work for you. It, it really I mean, does. it's the perfect gift coming up for, with the, for the holidays. It it's is. the perfect gift for anybody that, that, you know, that has a kitchen. Right. <laughs> I mean, and uh, I don't know if you've seen it reflected graphically or not, but remember that FlexPay does expire at midnight. So the FlexPay, this was saved for the show. Oh, thank you, guys. So the FlexPay <laughs> was saved for, uh, for you and for this show because this is the only airing. Remember, uh, this is another one of those while wow supplies last only. Oh, I love cucumbers. Oh, but, yeah. you know, the thing is, for me, generally speaking, yes. cucumbers are an area where I always have a lot of waste, especially if you like to can. I used to can every oh, year yeah. in Minnesota. And the, the, the pickles would never be precise because uh -huh. by the time I got done, right. I was just, like, peeling what I could, and I was left, like, a, with a third because oh, yeah, yeah. I'm, like, I'm worn out. <laughs> you know? Look at this. But you get a perfect peel on your cucumber. Again, all you do is push the button. When it gets down to the bottom, it automatically shuts off. Right. I still have the zucchini going over here. We're still making hash browns over here. And I'll tell you, but it's so simple to use. All you do is pick your vegetable, fruit, meat, or cheese. And I'll tell you what, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do something different this time. Right. How about a, a red ripe tomato? Oh, no kidding. All right. It, you don't even have to blanch these. Place it on the rotato. Yeah. Run the arm down into the top. And look at this. For even just even for for peeling a red ripe tomato like this, you oh get boy, a if perfect it can peel, peel a ripe tomato. I, it know, can peel. It's a razor anything. sharp blade, right? And look at the work that does. Oh, that's crazy.
crazy. I mean, what in the world? You wouldn't, I mean, you would have a hard time doing that with a hand peeler. It, you absolutely would. But now would. with the Rotato Express, it right. does all the work for you. It, it really does. But remember, this is for, basically for the show. <laughs> now, the FlexPay does expire There's at midnight. There's a whole dish of zucchini and, pasta. Oh, but you know what? It's so pretty. I mean, you know yeah. we eat with our eyes. Yes, I mean, there's less waste. But even if you're, you know, slicing lemons to garnish a fish, yes. you know, you want it to look pretty. You want it to look precise. Oh, there's oh. an avocado. Okay, let me, let me place that back okay. in. I'm going to stop that. So obviously that's a very yeah. hard it's, rind or this hard is, this skin. This is actually a Florida avocado, which are harder than I can, normal well, I can ones. see that. Okay, yeah. and all you do is raise it up to the top, you push the button, yeah. and it does the work for you. It does. And you can see, again, that razor sharp look. That one's, that one's rotten yep. on the bottom, that's why. Okay. okay. <laughs> we can't help you with you that. You can't help with the vegetables. <laughs> <laughs> that, we can't help you with that. But oh, here, man. how about a pear? We'll let all that right. shut off. You can see how that arm goes all the way down. It hits the button. Yeah. It automatically shuts off. Yeah. Here, we'll put a pear in here, one of these uh, red, delicious pears. Okay. All you do is press the button. Now oh, you're neat. peeling pears. Again, yeah. everything from tomatoes and potatoes and cucumbers. and I mean, you yeah. can peel onions with this, too. Sure. It does just about every fruit or vegetable you would ever want to do. But I'll tell you what. Uh, I love it just for the oranges and the lemon sure. rinds. Again, you place it on top, slide the arm down into the center. See these little, th here's a little tip for you too, okay. okay? Now you can take this in an RV or camper, boat, motor yeah. home, because it's, it is battery operated, yeah. so you can take this and use it in a tent if you like. Sure. Underneath there too, you'll notice here, I've got one over here, this little tab right here, yeah. this pulls out, and okay. what this does, this is a little, I, 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 sometimes I forget to show these features, this will take the eye out of your oh, potato, yeah. okay, before you peel it. Oh, so that handy. digs the eyes out. Nice. So now you can pull that out, okay. you place it in the rotato, and it does all the work Brilliant. for you. Brilliant, remember. And that stays right up underneath here. Oh, it just here. hides right in there. So you can either run it battery Good operated, idea. or you can have it on the cord, okay? Yeah. It comes with the cord. Okay. And again, these little four tabs down here, this is what holds your vegetable in place, okay? So you take your vegetable or fruit, place it down over those little prongs, okay. slide this down over the top, you raise the arm up, you push the button, and away you go. There you go. <laughs> All right, less than $10 on your credit card. And don't forget, extended holiday return policy. So this is going to help you out with your holidays. So again, if you want that flex pay, it does expire at stroke of midnight. You can do one more thing before we go? Sure, I'm going to hit beer. I'll hit right. another apple. Hands free. We'll get them all going. Exactly. <laughs> John, you're actually hanging tight because you've got yes. something else coming up in this hour. Yeah, we've got I that know. mandolin coming I up. Know. Easy old mandolin. No. All right, so John will be back in just a second. Hey, don't forget, if you're doing a little holiday shopping for yourself, we love Diane Gilman, our queen of jeans around here. This actually happens to be her printed velvet legging. You know how hot that velvet is this fashion season. I mean, you saw it on all the runways. And leave it to Diane to interpret that hot fashion and runway trend for us, not only in a style that we can all look good in, but obviously a holiday price we don't have to feel bad about either. So you're welcome to call 570-450. All right, pies for everyone. Carrie Mileto, come on out here. I mean, so we Can love... serious about the <laughs> exactly. pie. Exactly. Like, Let's get going. We're going to do some pie baking. <laughs> See, normally... Now, I love pies, but normally yeah. when I think about pies, I think, you know, the rolling and the prep and how long it takes and yeah. the mess and then the cleanup. Love pies. Yeah. But then, living alone, what am I going to do with all the leftovers? Exactly. So, you know, it's, uh, this is everybody's perfect solution. Let me show you okay. the new solution for you. If you have experienced what she was just talking about, yeah. and I have... Here you go. Nice, perfectly individual oh, pies look at how that cute are ready. Those are. This is the best part. They're ready in seven minutes or less. Are they really? Yes. <gasps> okay. Oh, for cool. That's what's pretty crazy. So when you plug this in, it takes two minutes to warm up. Gotcha. Oh, Only two minutes. Okay, you know it takes 21 minutes for my oven to preheat. I know. Right? That's what's so crazy. I've timed it. So in less time <laughs> really than it would take have. for your oven to even warm yeah. up. You are already serving a delicious pie, and let's cut into this one. I believe is our cherry. Oh, so look there's, at look that. at this cherry pie. It's absolutely perfect. Yummy, Perfectly yummy, browned yummy. all the way. This is my apple pie right here. Okay. And okay, I left my ice cream. I'll come get it. <laughs> okay, that's all right. That's all right. Well, I, she has I, I, get I will be your helpful you assistant. You have to finish with it. Thank you so much. Okay, Jen. you we are welcome. We have to finish with the ice cream. I know. And so you can have pies just like this in a matter of minutes. I want you to be thinking about this time of year. We're gonna have people coming over to visit a lot. Lot more sure. frequently now we are also you know there's times when you're busy you're doing holiday stuff you want to serve something delicious you do but you don't have all that time to spend think about plugging this in for just a few moments
taking your pie crust. Now you can buy already made pie crust. Sure, right to make your, your life easy. Section. Yeah. Exactly. But we also include with the maker, there's going to be pie crust uh, recipe. So oh, if you nice. wanted to make it from scratch, we're going okay. to tell you how. Gotcha. So now you can go and get the filling right in the grocery store aisle. So they have the pie filling already in the can. So maybe just keep some yeah, of these in the not? cabinet. Or maybe you already have harvested some of your fresh, you know, fruits and maybe sure. you can fruits, you know, during the summertime, the springtime. So you can have these ready. Do you want apple or do you want blueberry? Oh, do you know what? I do like apple. Okay, I let's have do to apple. Say. You gotta do that. You, okay, by the way, this is another one where it is the grand finale for our Columbus Day uh, finale. <laughs> Remember, we've got LG, we've got the television, we've got the phone coming up. But regardless, this flex pay does go away at midnight. So you can only get it basically now or for this show for less than $10 on your credit card. You know, and the thing for me too, Carrie, is, you know, for a lot of us out there, we all love pie, but most households, you buy a pie and then you're sitting on leftovers for a week, even if there Absolutely. is more than one person in the family. Absolutely. And let's be honest, somebody's not happy. You know, you buy the I'm apple, somebody else wanted the pecan. <laughs> you know, you buy the pecan, somebody else wanted sweet potato. You know, and, and you know, so yeah. now pies for everybody. You can customize not only the flavor profile, but you can do sweet and savory at once. You could do a pot pie on one side. You could do an apple pie on the other and yeah. still know that in minutes you're going to have perfect results. And that's where I'm going right now. So what I was just showing you is it actually comes with a cutter. So you see here, this yeah. actually is coming with. So the larger side is for your bottom piece and then the other side which is a little bit smaller is for your top piece so you right. saw me put the top piece on it's that easy everyone I'm going to take these out these are my pot pies I am gonna blow your mind right now okay if you buy a pot pie in the store you know that you have preservatives of artificial course. things sure well, you know what, sure. Kind of, what kind of meat are they using it yeah you know probably not the best right. you know so and if you do want to oh, get kind and say hey cute. we use all white meat you pay so much more this is a chicken pot pie Nothing will go to waste in your home yeah. because you can get as creative with this pie maker as you want. Take your leftover green beans, your corn, right. your chicken, put in a little cream of mushroom sure. or cream of chicken you can customize or whatever it. you like. And this one I believe is, is not a chicken. Okay, we got two chickens. Okay, so chick, chick. Okay, so we got two chickens, but I'm going to do a beef one now. Okay. So like to your point, maybe... Some people in your house like chicken, some people in your house like right. beef, you've got both left over in the refrigerator, great, no problem. Dinner is ready in minutes. You got home, you worked hard all day, you're exhausted. This is the easiest way to pop something out so fast. Sure. However, yeah. you can also prep in advance. So oh. if you wanna go ahead and make a whole bunch of these and yeah. freeze them in your freezer and then literally oh, take them not? out and put them in the microwave. Good idea. They work just as well like that as, as well. They do, I mean, whether, you know, it's somebody, this fits in the, the fall, smallest of spaces too so i mean yeah. i know it sounds crazy but you know pies in the dormitory you know this pies tailgating yeah. you know pies in assisted living so whether you live alone or you're an empty nester or you're just trying to exercise portion control the kids are going to go bananas over this and the grandkids <laughs> are going to go crazy because no kidding they're going to see this and all of a sudden you don't have to worry about you know a big sometimes dangerous oven right and you know let's be fair certainly we're moving into winter where we don't think about the heat obviously it's not heating up your kitchen but there's a cost factor associated with how long it takes you to you know preheat and then use and then bake your oven it's going to save you so much money on top of everything else absolutely and then those frozen foods are very expensive they are and they're always very small and again the ingredients are not something that you have control over so here you absolutely do now imagine so we took it from dessert which is right. the obvious the pies we took it to savory we took it to dinner but now i want to take you to breakfast yeah how many of you go through the drive-through and or again we're back in the frozen food aisle because yeah. we like to buy those little egg sandwich things well now you can use your pie maker yeah to make a breakfast sandwich oh why not oh, I just totally got crazy okay oh, that's look at cute but we put in there so that's egg sausage peppers you name it whatever your favorite that's things adorable. are and again totally full they plump up when you cook them so beautiful and please notice how nice and roasty toasty they yeah. are so you can leave them in to get as little toasted or sure. more toasted whatever you like but again a, just a few minutes you are in business you this are. could be so valuable in the morning when you're trying to get a family Absolutely. out the door or just maybe you want to make one you don't have to fill exactly. both sides exactly and you know and to Carrie's point I mean it's kind of it's better than set it and forget it because you really don't set anything nope. <laughs> you just wait for it to be preheated and then you put whatever you know filling <laughs> or topping you want to put in it and then it, it, it does all the work so remember that flex pay is for this show
show or for today only. It is the grand finale of our Columbus Day holiday weekend here at HSN. What do you make here? So now I'm making new egg one. So I put sausage Ooh. in one and bacon in another because okay. maybe everybody likes something a little different. Sure. Now this would be a fun way. Uh, maybe if some people staying over, families coming over, everyone can make their breakfast, put yeah. out all. So we did these little ramkins here. You could put Cute. all different things inside and everyone can pick Why their not? toppings. So it becomes like, you know, we love staying at hotels and resorts sure. because they can we can go to the bar yeah, exactly. and do that, the breakfast bar. Make your own breakfast bar at home. You so put can. in all your favorite toppings and you're just going to beat your eggs okay. and just fill it in with the eggs all around. How easy is that, though? This is not the easiest thing in the world. It, it, it is, and I, I will tell you, with hundreds of you calling, we have fewer than 3,000 to go around, and this is always a hit here at always. HSN. Uh, call us if you have it, by the way. We'd love to say hi. But the other thing about this is, too, we hear from viewers that they have pie parties yes. where they buy more than one. Okay. And isn't it true, though? Yes, I'm totally going to... Okay, so if Crystal, if you're watching, Crystal works here at HSN oh, yeah, okay. in our salon. Yes, she does. Crystal got so excited when she saw this because maybe like you at home, you'll do this, too. She started thinking about all the things she could make with this. And when she saw me do the next thing I'm, okay. I'm going to do, she bought three of them. See, I you, told you. You don't have to buy three of them. The reason <laughs> she did is she's a very big family. Yeah. And when her family and all the kids and all the grandkids and everybody comes over to visit, yeah. she likes to pop out pies really fast. So oh, everybody sure. gets involved. They make the pie. She said it was a huge win when everybody came over. They were so excited. Oh, I bet they were. And I'm thinking this is, let me just cut into this and make sure. But yeah. this is what sold her on it. Okay. Uh, Crystal doesn't eat enough greens, she was saying. Oh. So this is a spinacopita. So it's a Greek spinacopita. Yeah. Yes. And she said, oh my gosh, I am going to make those all the time. So she's been making them oh, pretty steady. Funny. She said her one machine, she goes, I think I made more pies than that machine's ever <gasps> supposed to make it one time. So this might be you. Please know these are little workhorses. They yeah. love just making it over and over. You can keep right. going. And you can keep getting creative. I mean, to you, you, you know, what we were talking about is nothing goes to waste. No. Maybe you want to put mac and cheese in this. Oh, why not? Maybe you want to put, you could go seafood right. and put seafood Buffalo in Buffalo chicken. Well, oh my gosh, that's I know. so smart. Wouldn't that be good? With a blue cheese I in there. I know. Oh. Okay, look, I did little tiny pepperonis. Aren't they cute? <laughs> those are okay. adorable. So that's the other thing mm. that we spend a lot of money on is those little pizza bite things, okay, that we go and we pay a gazillion dollars. Yeah. We don't know what kind of pepperoni is being used. We don't know what kind of sauce is being used. And generally, they only put very little. You ever yeah, bite into true. those? Yeah. And you're like, where's, where's, the, where's that meat? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Okay, look at that lady in the commercials. Okay, so here you go. So yeah. again, easy peasy. Put as much or a little. It's all to your customization and to what you like. You place the small smaller pieces on top. You don't, I'm not doing anything fancy. No. Nope. It crimps it for you. These are non-stick makers. So what that also means is now we're going to go back and we're going to go back to the pies we started. Okay. And we're going to see okay. how many we can get through. But I want to show you that once you take these out, you saw how when I took them out, I could just put new ones right back you in. You could. You could. Easy to clean. So remember, all, the only choice you make here is do you want the red, which has proven to be the most popular. You all like my red. And Ooh. then of course the black. Oh, and but you know, Carrie, look at how beautifully brown those are They're too. beautifully brown. And here's what I want to show you. Do do not be afraid. You see how this comes right up? I would wait for yeah. this to cool, by the way. I'm doing this very hot. In real but life. In real life, how? Oh, you would wait for that to cool. It's very TV hot. time doesn't allow us to do that. It doesn't allow me to at all. But okay, so but what I want to show you is do not be afraid that these went over. It still comes yeah. right out. You see how that comes right out? And this yeah. will just peel right off as soon as it cools for so a moment. Cool. But um, that is the great part about these makers. So you don't have to feel like, Oh gosh, you know, if I tried to make a pie from scratch on my right. own, look at that apple pie. I just made that Perfection. live with you Perfection. just now. I know, and so here's the thing. So you can see what Carrie has done literally in just the last couple of moments. So yeah. we've got kind of a cherry one. pie, so we've got cherry pie, we've got apple pie, we've see, got, peach. is that the peach? Okay, peach yeah. pie, oh my gosh. we've so got fun. chicken pot pie, we're making, we're, right now we are making beef pot pie we as are. we speak. I'm pulling those out right Breakfast now. Breakfast sandwiches, almost like little spanakopita or, or soup, you know, Yep. Souffles or quiches in a way. You can do breakfast food. So here. breakfast, Whoops. lunch, dinner, and obviously dessert. So you can do sweet, you can do savory, and let's be fair, that price is you know, a giveaway. I mean, oh $19.95. You use it once, it's going to pay for itself. And you're going to you use will. it so much. That's the thing. Now, look, I want you guys to come over here with me. Now, yeah. let yours cool, please. Unplug it. <laughs> right. Okay. Again, TV time. Okay, remember? Right? I have no time. I want to show you really quick. See, please notice how when I just wipe this, even if a little bit came out, 
clean. I'm ready to go. Yeah. I would just keep wiping. And then it's yeah. done and it's ready to go for the next right. time around. Such a breeze. That's the kind of stuff I want to have in my kitchen. Not stuff that's super hard to do. So here, look at this. Oh, Here's that looks yummy. Oh my gosh. Doesn't so you're it? gonna have your <gasps> high quality meats. You're gonna have your high quality vegetables. You're gonna know what you're putting into your you, you are. Pots. And you know what? You feel better about it. I mean, the kids are gonna go bananas. The grandkids are gonna go absolutely crazy. <laughs> I mean, you know, whether you're a small household, you know, senior living alone, or you're just practicing portion control, right. as most of us are, you can really afford to have fun and yet get that homemade pie, whether it's sweet, whether it's savory, it looks pretty, it couldn't be easier. Because, you know, normally when we talk pie, you know very well, it's like, okay, well, that's, that's a day-long project, right? Today right. I'm making apple pie. So that's the whole day ahead of you, not so anymore. So I would probably give this one about another minute because you can see it's almost sure. not completely finished. So just to get that inside completely done, but you see how I'm going really fast. <laughs> yes. So I'm just going to show you the top of this one because I'm going to tell you right now, this one's not done yet. But you can see how it's almost there. That sure. top will finish browning probably yeah. about another minute or two. But how quickly did I just go through all of these? And that's yeah. how quickly you can be making pies for your entire family, for all your guests. It's true. And come on, that flex pay once more. I know you, you see we're seeing that reflected graphically. That flex pay does, it's done at midnight. The grand finale of our Columbus Day weekend is done at midnight. That's why our two today specials are coming up in sellout quantities. And they're just too doggone cute for Aren't words, Aren't they adorable? Carrie. So see, this they one had are. all that little extra around it. It just came right off. So you just let it cool for a second. Adorable. It pops right off. It's a perfect pie. I want to give you one other idea as we go into the holidays. Yeah. Leave the tops off. Oh. And you can make pumpkin pie, and you can make pecan oh, pies. Yes. Little baby pies to put <gasps> out for your Thanksgiving, oh, how for your sweet. holidays, whether it be Christmas, Hanukkah, whatever. Have a good time with us. Absolutely. Carrie, thanks for joining Thank us you. for the finale. Uh -huh. Good to see you. Uh, if you missed Wolfgang Puck over the weekend, you can still take advantage of his holiday visit because there are up to 30% off some of your select Wolfgang Puck items on hsn.com. All right, we're scooting along. Oh, and don't forget, if you do become one of our VIP shoppers tonight, you get $40 off that first purchase. And Daryl, I don't know if we can give a little sneak peek at the dash coming up or not, but uh, I spy out of the corner of my eye Kelly coming up, which actually with a blender that has been a host pick for me. I know we were talking about host pick a little bit earlier tonight, and it's a this day only price. It's never aired at a this day only price. So, you know, that offer expires at midnight. Okay, we are scooting along. Hey, don't forget if you have any of the items that we're uh, offering tonight, or if you're shopping, hold at the end of the call. We'd love to meet and greet you. He's back. Hello. <laughs> John, <laughs> do you know what? I think unequivocally every host here at HSN has either purchased one of these or given one yeah, as a gift. Yeah. I, I think it's kind of, you know, our insider secret for prepping the kitchen. <laughs> right. You know, no more Band-Aids, no more, you know, finger, because you know. Because of this, yes. Because of that. It's smart, isn't it? Yeah, it saves a ton of time in the kitchen. Cooking doesn't take time. The preparation takes the it's time so in true. the kitchen. Yeah. And with the Kitchen Master Mandolin, it's called the Easy Hold because it's got a handle on the end. Yeah. It's got feet on the bottom that'll actually fit over any size bowl so you right. can slice dice and chop right into a salad bowl okay. do it on the countertop tabletop whatever you like razor sharp german stainless steel blade now sure. this does the work for you all you do is take a potato tomato onion whatever you wish yeah you pl put it at the top of the machine slide it down to the yep. table slide it back up to the top slide it down to the table all you do is if you can move your arm up and down you can use yeah. this mandolin yeah. okay no you can and here's the best part i want you to see every slice comes out uniform and even so it's not like a knife where you get one thick slice yeah. Then yes. one thin slice, then one finger slice. These are all <laughs> the same, so they're all going to cook up at the same time. And that's important when it comes to cooking, it baking, or dehydrating. Now, when you're down to the end, you'll notice I didn't go all the way down to the end, right. okay? Because I like my fingers. <laughs> and if you've ever slipped on one of these old four sided oh, tin can, Lord, you know these things, right? Yes. You get close to your fingers and slip on one of those. <gasps> I mean, Here, it's a serious problem. There's so that's four the stainless guard. steel prongs inside this cup. Yep. That holds on to the food, you hold on to the holder and that takes it right down to the end so you'll never waste anything. It takes it right to the very last little piece. So, But you get uniform slices into each and every time. Yeah. Now, here's probably the hardest thing that I've found that anybody has a hard... 
Everybody has a hard time slicing tomatoes. True, absolutely Because true. everybody's got a, a drawer full of dull knives, right? right? I mean, your yes. knives hit countertops, cutting boards, plates, dishes. Yeah. That's why your knives go dull, okay? You end, yeah. up, you end up having to stab a tomato to get it started. You do, actually. Well, true. with this machine, okay. all right, you place it in the safety holder. Yeah. All you do is brush it through. You get perfect uniform slices oh, for salads, nice. for sandwiches, for uh, backyard barbecued yeah. hamburgers. But you notice all the slices come out the same. They do. So it's not like, again, it's not like... Like a knife. Now, if you like that slice here, I'm going to put these out here on the tray okay. in the front and get them out of the way. But if maybe you want a thinner slice, well, watch what I do. The kitchen, kitchen master has come up with the, all, there, there's no parts or pieces to this. Right. This is it. Okay. There's a knob on either side. So on this side, yeah. this adjusts the thickness of your slice. There's eight different slicing thicknesses. All you can hear it click. Oh, yeah. Like, okay. Oh, yeah. So there's eight different slicing thicknesses from thick all the way to thin. And then on this side, you'll notice these teeth pop up. These yeah. are your julianning blades. Okay. You've got super thin, yeah. medium, you've got slice, and then you've got the thick, the thick julienne, right. which gives you those big french fries. Now, I'm going to go to slice, but I'm going to go do a thin slice okay. because I I think everybody will love this machine just for slicing oh, onions alone. no kidding. For salads or sandwiches, for sautéed peppers and onions, steak and onion, liver and onion, potatoes and onion. Yeah. Hey, for thin sliced onions, for heroes and hamburgers, Perfection. you can't beat this machine. No, you can't. But, you know, when it, you, you mentioned earlier you used to do a lot of pickling, right? Yes, I did, actually. My grandmother was pickled all the time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, pickling all exactly. the time. Exactly. Yeah. Well, for heaven's sake. I'll tell you what. For pickling, look at this. For yeah. homemade bread and butter pickles. Oh, can I for tell you that's what I needed? For bread, bread and butter oh, pickles or that's cucumber what I and needed, onion salad. John. You can nickel down carrots for canning, yeah. slice beets for pickling. I mean, paper thin slices. You can get them even thinner than oh, that. Here, perfect. I'm going to take it up one more notch and watch this. Yeah. Look at this. I mean, paper thin. Any thinner than that, right. they only have one side. <laughs> yeah. You could make one cucumber last all winter. <laughs> Seriously. But look at that. They're look all Look at those slices. Perfect. Paper thin and perfect slices. Oh, that's dynamite. Each and every time. Hey, I do want to point out, if, uh, this is the first time I've aired this where all the colors were back, which is really oh, cool nice. for me. So the purple, I've never even gotten to air the purple with you before. Yeah, that's a new color. Oh, it's a, no, no it's, wonder. Yeah. Uh, so, <laughs> so there's the orange, there's the green, there's the black, there's the blue, and there's my red. Everybody's loving the red tonight. Uh, but the really cool thing about this is, like you said too, John, we know fresh is best, but yeah. it's the prep work that people don't like. This machine does more work does. Look at, than you're any expensive cool one. You're not even machine. looking at the, okay. at the cabbage. Those machines you plug in the wall, you drag them out of the garage, you know, where they're stored on the top shelf because there's all those parts and pieces. Yeah. You have to plug them into a wall. You can't do this kind of work you on can't. that. You this can't. is why every professional chef in the world has a mandolin in their arsenal of, of tools course, yeah. uh, for the kitchen because it saves you so much time. Perfect. Look at this. Th actually, wow. this is what mandolins were originally made to do over uh, 150 years ago in Germany. Yeah. They were made to do ca sauerkraut for right. you know, make, shred cabbage. Sure. Imagine lettuce, iceberg lettuce for oh, tacos yes. or for a salad. Now, if you like it thicker than that, all you do is drop it down to the thick okay. slice for noodles and cabbage yeah. or for iceberg lettuce on taco night. You can You'll do love that. But watch this because some people, here, I'm going to put this down here. Okay. Some people don't like their cabbage long and stringy. Right. All right. You might want a deli style, I call it. Now, with a head of cabbage, you take a large head and quarter it down through the stem. Okay. okay? A small head, just cut it in half, but leave the stem on. That Don't carve that out because that holds all the leaves together. Right. And watch what I'm going to do now. I'm going to move it up to a medium slice, and then I'm going to bring the medium-sized teeth up. Yeah. And now, instead of shredding your cabbage for Cole's Law, now you're going to mince your cabbage deli style. Oh, for heaven's sake. See, those, it's like having 12 little knives it that all is. work at the same time. I know. To mince your cabbage, perfect for deli-style coleslaw. You are, and you know what's interesting? And I mean, Look at that. It's so funny because those onions are so fresh, I can still yes. smell them. Now, if I would have cut those by hand, A, they oh, yeah. wouldn't be perfect, but I'd be smelling like that onion for the next day and a half. I, I can know. promise you well, that. And speaking of onions, dicing onions, hey, you ever sit there with a knife oh, and play tic-tac-toe? I've tried it. Right? And then you take a slice. Or, yeah. or you, you know, onion slices all over the countertop or tabletop. Watch this. Put it in the safety holder, yeah. and all you do is brush it through. Yep. If this is the only thing that you will ever use this machine for, just for mincing onions, yeah, no kidding. I think it's worth 
worth its weight in gold just for this it, job alone. It, it, it I is, mean. and I'm telling you, you know, thanks. If you only got this for Thanksgiving, because yes. you know you're making stuffing, you got to have the diced onion, you got to have, have you know, celery the for stuffing. Celery for your <laughs> stuffing, exactly. You, you know, there's 26 different ways to cut celery with this machine. Are you kidding me? I, I mean, with all the different, in, uh, the I don't even know of 26. But you can do okay. one or two stocks at a time if you want, oh, okay? Man. And it'll save you a ton of time. It will. But if you want to get the job done quick, here's a little tip from my kitchen to yours. Okay. All right. Wrap a rubber band around that bunch of celery yeah. and use the whole bunch. Okay. You can chop more celery in 10 seconds with this machine than you could chop in 10 minutes with a knife. For sure. Okay. Now, no, for sure. like right. I said, it, there's 26 different ways. Instead of doing it this way, yeah. the angle that you run the vegetables through yeah. will give you different cuts. So if you run it through this way, yeah. now you're getting celery spears for stir fries. Oh, is that for and you know, stir fries are quick and easy to cook. They're healthy, yeah. they're good for you. You don't even need a wok. You, you can do it right in the frying pan. You can. And now with this machine, they're quick and easy to cut. The, uh, How about the, making carrot sticks? Okay. Zucchini spears for a vegetable tray. All you do is brush it through. Yeah. Here, I got some zucchini here. Look at this. I mean, how long? Why buy this stuff all made up for you in the you grocery store you when did. you can make it yourself? It's it so costs funny you say less. That, Chad. I'm looking fresh. at your table of okay. prep that you did. By the way, in seconds, can you imagine how long that would take to do with a knife? <laughs> oh, I know. But I, I, I've been guilty, and I still am, of buying almost everything, single thing on this table yep. in the pre already pre-done. Uh, uh, right, and you know, and you know very well, it's already lost some of its nutrients oh, and yeah. its flavor, and you know, it's, it's just, it's not the same. Exactly. Basically. Well, and that's and it costs a lot more. It does cost I mean, a lot when more. You buy when you buy cabbage chopped up for you yeah. like this, okay, right. it's like a dollar or dollar fifty more a pound yeah. to have somebody else do that for you. Yep. Think of the money it'll oh, save. I know. Let me give and you an example. Just for French fries. I, I bought I bought a carton, and you know the store, the carton with diced onion yes. and diced celery. They were on sale two for five dollars. Yeah. Two for five dollars, yeah, right? How many I mean, onions can like, you buy for five bucks? Uh, no, I'm serious. <laughs> right? They were on sale, two for five dollars. Just those two. It saves I mean, you a lot of money. Do you know that's? I mean, if, if I would, because then I also bought, you know, you know, the diced up. You know, they call it the little Trinity mix with, right? the, with the tomatoes and with the green pepper. I spent like ten dollars. I spent a flex pay just on these little pre-diced, pre-cut things. Yes. It's going to pay for itself over and over again. It really will. You. I always say for onions or French fries. I mean, yeah. just for the French fries alone. Yeah. You can make French fries by the mound. Uh, you'll yeah, make french yeah. fries by the pounds. Yep. I mean, you can make enough french fries to feed your, your whole neighborhood with right. this machine. You I mean, for, I've been for pennies. I mean, what do you spend on frozen french fries in the supermarket? Oh, please. And, and, and with additives and I preservatives know, and all that stuff. I know. But, but you here, know what? Nothing is better than fresh. I mean, no. it's just not. Because there are whole restaurant chains who brag about their little, you know, bar menu with the That's homemade right. french fries. You know, they make a big thing about it. You can have that every night if you want, basically. Yeah. <laughs> you, and you really can. You really but can. But not just with french fries. I mean, hey, how about, yeah. how, not just potatoes. Oh, apples. Why not make apple sticks for the kids. Hey, you make melt down fun. some caramel in the microwave, yeah. make these matchstick apples, the kids eat them like candy, they you do. know? And um, again, anything, here's the difference, okay? Anything that grows in layers, like onions, cabbage, or celery, yeah. when you're using the blades with the teeth up like this, okay, for your julienning, or, or for your mincing, anything that grows in layers will automatically mince, yeah. like onions, cabbage, right. celery. Anything solid, like okay. a zucchini, a potato, a carrot, yeah. or a pear, without even moving Moving the blades, now you're julienning. Oh, so neat. it depends on the vegetable that you're using. Yeah. I mean, you can do so much work with this machine. You can. Way more than any expensive electric machine. Right. And again, I, I mean, take a yeah. bell pepper, snip the tip off, okay, the, the part with the stem, reach inside, pull yeah. the heart and seeds out, all right? Yeah. And now, here, I'm going to do this. I'm going to okay. take this back to a slicer, yeah. and I want you to see this. Now, for thick slicing, you do yeah. it this way. If you want them thin, you can go all the way up to the thinnest okay. slice. Look at this. Paper thin oh, slices. Wow. Okay. <laughs> well, I know they're shooing us along. Oh. Please keep calling. I mean, John, I'm always impressed. I mean, the mountain of things you do. I, and, 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 it I mean, does just about everything right. but oh, the cooking. And of course, it, it even takes corn off the cob. Absolutely. Four or five rows at a time. All right. <laughs> so, John, are you back in the next couple days? I will be back. Uh, I think I might, I don't know. Yo, it's, tomorrow. Okay, see, it's the guest night, folks. <laughs> yeah. John, thank you. Awesome My job, pleasure. as always. All right, so just for that corn zipper alone, it's going to pay for itself. All right, we are <laughs> scooting along, and this is something, even though I have offered this as a host pick before, 
I, it's never been a this day only, not to my knowledge. And what we're doing right now, and basically for this show, is not only the healthiest way to get those, you know, fruits and vegetables into your home, into your life, into your diet. I don't care if it's gluten-free flour or if it's sugar-free ice cream, only the natural sugars of strawberries. You're going to do baby food to soups, to purees, I mean, to power protein shakes, and the list goes on and on. By the way, it is back. The mint. Most of you have not seen the mint. In fact, I think when Kelly and I debuted this, Kelly, come on out here, because you know I hate to, you know, I like, I like to see what she does. Hi. But the mint, I think, only made one show. I think it one sold. show and it sold out. Exactly. <laughs> and here's the thing. We go head to head with the guy that most people recognize. And I, I will tell you, I've told the story the a thousand The $500 times. version. The $500 version. I own one. I actually bought it elsewhere. Yep. And while it does, it's an amazing thing, it was just too complicated for me Yeah, because it's built out. for chefs it to is. figure out. So if you're not a chef, which I'm assuming most right. of you aren't. I'm a home cook. If you're a, if you're a home chef, maybe yeah. with no culinary training, yeah. those are built, those $500 machines, yeah, they did bring them to the consumer home, yes. but they're difficult to figure out. Plus, they only have two horsepower. Yeah. We're two and a quarter horsepower, seven-year warranty. Wow. Seven years from now, your grandchild's probably applying for colleges, and you can call us if something's going wrong yeah, with your blender. Exactly. So can you Dash imagine? Dash really stands behind their products. If you're on the fence, look at the reviews, you know, watch the yeah. demonstrations tonight night 1400 watts of power two and a quarter horsepower right that's the type of power that you get with a $600 blender yeah. so inside here we have mango tequila my fave and then we also have the chunky ice yeah, the kind the of ice that you get in here the rock hard yeah. the stuff that chips molars right, right. Yes. the stuff that burns out $80 blenders right, all exactly. day long every day and I always have to giggle because I watch a lot of blenders demonstrated on TV yep. and they always use what I call fluffy ice yes. it's like the gas station the bags of ice, ice that are filled with air bubbles yeah, that <laughs> right. break when you look at them. This is the kind you're getting right out of your freezer, right? We're not going yeah. to the gas station and picking up ice to make a beautiful right, margarita. Exactly, sure. Think about it in terms of price. So most eighty to one hundred dollar blenders are about three hundred and fifty watts. Yes. Okay. Okay. If you're talking a bar blender, right, the kind that are on the cruise ships, the kind that are in the nightclubs, yeah. they're designed to make mixed drinks all day, every day, sun up to sundown. They're about eight hundred and fifty watts. Okay. This is 1,400 watts. <laughs> this is for your home, 1,400 watts. So let me just show you what I'm gonna do. It's all built in. So I'm gonna choose frozen drink, because I'm obviously doing a frozen drink. But you've got all these choices, and you have a manual. So you could do a smoothie, you could do soup. We're gonna do all of those. And you can set it manually. Yeah. But then it knows the power. It knows how long it needs. I'm gonna hit that button there. Right. And my friends don't blink. Because this is all the ice, the tequila, and the mango. Everything. Everything. Okay. Ready? I'm just gonna wait one second. There all we right. go. Walked a few steps away so you can hear me better. Hands free, it's toggling on its own up and down. Shannon, with your V Blender, the oh. one you spent $500 on, wouldn't you be standing there toggling it? I would. And you would be, oh, am I going too fast? Right. Am I going too high? Exactly. Am I, you'd be and all in a panic. Know, then I'd be getting the tamper. And, and all you want to do is have a margarita. Anyway. Exactly. <laughs> it was darn supposed it. to be so easy. It was supposed to be it. a relaxing evening, and instead you're stressed out, wondering are you using right. your blender correctly. But look at the oh, creamy, dreamy, man. delicious, frozen experience Perfect that you're going to get. Every time. No chunks, no nope. bumps. Nope. Nobody's going to chip a molar on their no. frozen drink. By the way, it also will not um, separate. No. So if you've ever hosted a party and somebody sets their drink down and then they go, you know, 30 minutes later yeah. to pick it up again, it's all separated out. Yeah. So they either get a big, you know, gulp of tequila <laughs> right. or a big gulp of mango and it's all right. separated. Or a chunk of ice. Or a chunk of ice. Right. It is all completely and utterly emulsified. That's what 1400 watts, two and a quarter horsepower does. It will give you the Beautiful. best frozen drink experience it, of your life. It, it will. Do you know what? I used to sell margarita makers on the air here. They were yes. between $269 and $299. Oh, yeah, yeah. Easily. Uh, Daryl, I'll just show the colors real quickly, and then I'm going to you know, keep turning uh, Kelly loose here. But I just want to remind you, Mint is back for the very first time. When this, when it launched here at HSN, it actually sold out in one show. Oh, we're calling it Aqua. Okay, well, see, we did get a little fancy. <laughs> so <laughs> there's the It's absolutely aqua. stunning. It is. And then, of course, our white, great for the bride, great for, you know, anybody who wants to cook. Gr oh, no kidding. Only 250 of the green and then the black. And I actually own the red. I and then, of course, you get your recipe book. Dash is famous for unprocessing your food. Mm -hmm. And then one other thing I want to point out, when you look at that retail value, uh, actually, it's, we're showing an HSN price, but I need to specify, that is actually a, re that's what Dash sells this for, a 
at retail. At retail. At retail. Yeah. So do all day, every day, 400 yeah, all bucks. All day, every day. Yep. So this is the only day and the only show where you can get it for this day only price. Actually, I think it's a better price than when I did this as a host pick. It is. It is. In, yeah. And we're doing that right around the holiday season, but yeah. they won't last. Right. Oh, for sure. I mean, they, these always sell out. We're always waiting for more yeah. of our Dash Digital Blenders. In the meantime, go read the reviews. Yeah. You've got to put this on your Christmas lift, uh, list if you want it for yourself or a gift. What's so cool is, look, I can choose soup, okay? Now yes. it knows at what power, how long. I don't need yeah. to toggle. This inside here is raw vegetables. These are not softened. They're not roasted. Raw vegetables. We've chosen our own vegetable broth. That could be any, you, you, Shannon's right. bone broth. Yeah. A little salt, pepper, uh, garlic, cilantro. Whatever seasonings you want to do for your homemade yeah. organic vegetable soup. Right. And then... To my left, we're actually going to do a beautiful decadent oh, dessert. Now, this, this is one. the kind of fondue that you go to those restaurants, you know, <laughs> and you pay good money to cook your own it's food, a fortune, and trust it makes me, me crazy because <laughs> I can cook my own food at home, exactly. and I get you know like for pennies on the dollar. So you're going to choose soup on both of these. Let's get them going, and then we actually wheel okay. these to the other side of the studio right. because there's one thing this isn't. I will never claim that the dash blender is quiet. I was just going to say ever. That. You will never hear me say that, and there's a reason for that. If you have a quiet blender, it's not working it's very not well. Working. Just like having a quiet vacuum cleaner. Right. You need the power, but it won't bother you at all because you're going to get the best experience. So I'm going to go ahead and hit start. You will indeed. Hey, it's free shipping, and don't forget that this is... Sorry, Brandon, I'm just moving away because to Kelly's point, I mean, it makes noise because it's got torque. It's got power. So I know Kelly mentioned it at the beginning of the show, but when you think of that other leading chef-inspired blender, that is two horsepower. And this is more, it's two and a, two and a quarter. quarter horsepower, which yes. that's actually more power than yes. my lawnmower. Yeah. <laughs> Daryl just Seriously. said that, our producer said it's more than his lawnmower. It's more than the lawnmower, your push mower in right. your garage. Um, and what's so great about this is all the presets, right? So I don't have to babysit, I don't have to toggle, I don't have to stand there nope. and know whether or not I'm at the right speed or at the right temperature or anything. Yeah. So this one actually says smoothie. Now, once you get to know the blender, if you want to use manual for any of these, you can. It's built in all these configurations, but you can always choose manual. So I'm going to do smoothie. Okay. And what you can see here, well, what's most important was what's not in here, right? Yeah, true. No liquid, no ice, None. no orange juice, nope. no coconut water or anything watering down your right, smoothie. Right, exactly. I always laugh because they're like, well, at this point, you add the orange juice or the yeah. this or that. And that's because they need that liquid to prime their motor, right? It has to get their motor going. Yeah. We don't need liquid. You don't need nope. to water down your smoothie. If you want to add it, you know, Why because not? you like orange juice, yeah, sure. feel free. It's yeah. not necessary. I personally like just drinking my fruits and yeah, vegetables. I do too. Grapes. We have orange. We have spinach. Tons of spinach. A whole banana. In the back, you can see we have a cucumber. You could add lemon. Whatever you want to do. Um, protein mix. Chia seed. Goji berries. Whatever you want to do. Hit that start button and you'll just watch. This is a 64 ounce oversized Triton Ooh. pitcher. Yeah. 64 ounces of yeah. solid fruits and vegetables. Kelly's absolutely right. Normally with these demonstrations, they, they do add liquid. You can choose to if you want, but right, for you don't have to add it to get your blender to work, you right? Don't. And the truth of the matter is, look how smooth it is. There's not going to be any grit. Like if you've ever yeah. drank a smoothie and it just really wasn't quite smooth, right. you know, it didn't live up to its namesake yeah. and it was more of like a chunky type of situation turned off by yeah, doing them and then you just threw it out the window and there went that health plan or that health diet you right. were trying to do um, it's a smooth experience it's like drinking you know like apple juice it's it that actually. smooth of an experience yeah. and that's because 1400 watts of power absolutely pulverizes and emulsifies what it actually does scientifically is it opens up the plant cell walls, oh. which bursts out all the nutrition so that your body can metabolize them yeah, faster. Yeah, yeah. So do me a favor and it's just like a little test. A couple days without coffee, do a green drink. Oh, sure. You will have instant and you natural will. energy. You will. Yeah. This, this is an observation that you point out for me that I didn't even think of. When normally when you get a smoothie at the smoothie place, they have these like <laughs> really jumbo fawn straws. They're called smoothie. That's a thing. They call <laughs> them smoothie Actually, straws. You're right. I bought some yeah. at the grocery store yeah. the other day. You don't need the smoothie straw. Yeah, because they, they're worried they got big old chunks right, of fruit. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. So if you can drink this through a regular straw, you know that you're pureeing, I mean, you're processing all those, you know, those nutrients in 
the way that you want. Here's the thing though, with, with every service representative taking phone calls, today is your day. I do want to point out this still has our extended holiday return policy. Which is crazy. So, which is insane. I mean, three months of this. I know. So even though this offer expires today, the extended return policy does not. So if you're looking at this and, you know, you're watching the show for a reason. If you've always thought about getting one of those high-end blenders, or if you're someone like me, I had one, I still have it. You know, I need to, you know, pay it forward and give it to somebody because now that I've got the dash, I just don't use it. I think the only reason I haven't given it away yet is because it was so doggone much Expensive. money. And, you know, for me, now, again, it's it's a great blender. I'm not knocking the brand whatsoever. I just find that this is this was my solution. Do, Kelly, do you remember when we first started to sell this? Because I'm like, oh, I'm not a blender person. Yes. I mean, do you remember? Because I'm like, oh, okay. Because, you know, I've, I've had one. I've had a bad her. taste I'm in like, my mouth. Oh, I just I was you know, like, couldn't oh, figure great. thing out. I mean, yeah. do you know what, though? And I, I see this with every presentation. Look if you do one thing with your brand new dad blender. Do what Kelly is doing. No now. oil added. I know. So this is homemade peanut butter with no added oil. No added sodium. And no added sodium. And I'm telling you, those gourmet peanut butters at the farmer's market oh, yeah. and on the grocery store well, shelves. butter was gone on the shelves except for the you know the, the handmade gourmet stuff and yeah. you're right the reason it was still there is it's 12 it was, bucks a bite it, it yeah, was $12 so a jar. expensive <laughs> and exactly. here's I always say this and I laugh about it but I'm very serious if you wanted to do this and take it to your farmer's market you could pay off your blender yeah, I mean you are doing like your that. homemade nut butters like almond yeah. butter with cinnamon or cashew butter right around the holiday time how about macadamia nut oh. butter sell it you could you could make a fortune doing I'm that because you. there's one ingredient that should be in peanut butter and that should be what Shannon <laughs> Peanuts. Peanuts, my friends. Okay, yeah. it shouldn't have preservatives, sodium, palm no. oil, anything, because there's enough oil in there. You just have to have a blender with enough power to extract yeah. the natural oils, right? So the reason they have to add oh extra oils is because they have to keep these things shelf stable. They have to keep them on the pantry shelf for six, eight, ten months, maybe even a year before you go purchase it. Yeah, they do. This was raw peanuts. If you want to go organic right. peanuts, if you want to go yeah. organic almonds, you if you want to spice it up, like chipotle peanut butter, yeah. or strawberry oh, peanut that's butter. that's a good idea. Do whatever you want. Oh, for heaven's sake, I never even thought about and that. And what a great little gift is to jar yeah. it, you know, put it with a little tag oh, my for Lord. all your neighbors, for all the teachers. I'm telling you, you'll never look at peanut butter And then butter it's ever. warm. You gotta yeah. eat it yeah, right out of the blender, because like, it's warm. You'll never look at peanut butter it's kind of the amazing. same way again. <laughs> yeah, so here's the thing. If you're calling Calling during this show, you are the only folks who get it for $37.99 uh, on your credit card. We, we uh, So basically, you can also, oh, you know what? If you use your HSN credit card for the very first time, it's already the best price we've ever had, but boy, you use that HSN card, and then, I mean, you're taking it to a whole new place with another $40 off. Yep. Soup for everyone. I mean, so you can see the steam pouring out the top of both of these. They've, these have been running for five minutes. Yeah. Okay, so there's no heating element on the inside. You can see how warm it gets it gets about 180 195 okay. degrees and look at that yeah. just wafting out the top so if you're a raw foodie or somebody that yes. doesn't like to cook out the nutrition that right. usually is right above 212 this yes, won't actually. even get to 212 no, it, it will not it, boil out true. your nutrition so from soup to nuts quite literally one thing i want to mention with the <laughs> tomato soup if you're saying well that's not the color of you know from my can yeah, good point there's a, there's a reason. reason if you it's look <laughs> at the back of some of the cans especially the ones that are geared towards children uh, yeah there there's sometimes not every can of soup, right. but sometimes artificial coloring oh, inside yeah. soup. It makes me crazy because For soup sure. is one of the healthiest things you can put in your, in your body. And it's so filling and Have you ever been to like the five-star restaurant and you've ordered their, you know, soup and you, yeah. and you cannot put your finger on why right. it tastes so much better and so much yeah. fresher it's than terrible. what you get at home in the cans? They're doing it fresh. It's, they are. They're doing it in back of kitchen yep. with a high-powered blender. They They're doing it with fresh, real yeah. ingredients. Ingredients. And I'm telling you what, you know, Andrew is, uh, Andrew Lesman is back on the air this weekend. If you have not tried uh, Muriel and, and Andrew's soup cookbook, oh, beautiful. I make all their soups in my dash blender. I mean, it really takes those soups to a whole new level. So if you're trying to do it, you know, other way, no, obviously you can make it, you know, other ways too, but uh, there's kind of like that, that molten ganache. Is right? that not amazing? So skip the restaurant where you have yeah. to pay extra money to cook your own food and do your own fondue. Right. And then guys, gentlemen, how many times, my, you know, my husband, used to do the 
chocolate dipped strawberries, you know, yeah. you send it, it's $70 including uh, shipping oh, to send it anywhere. Wow. So you could, for for two years of worth of strawberries, yes. <laughs> you know, just skip it and do yeah. your own, my friends. I mean, you, could. you can do your own, but this can also be party dipping it, platter. Sure, okay. It took me no work. That yeah. was just the chocolate chips. Right. You could do whatever if you like the dark was chocolate. Cream? Yeah, a little bit of cream and a little bit of butter. Okay, that's it. Yeah, I mean, I'm not Three saying it's calorie free, but it's after October 1st, so calories don't count. Exactly, especially if you're standing up when you eat them. Exactly. Them's the rules, that's I'm just right. saying. So, you know, honestly, the really cool thing about, well, there's so many cool things about this. Uh, unfortunately, whenever Kelly's here, and I, my dream someday is to have a full hour on this. I mean, I know. We, because I think. Oh, we could do some yeah, amazing could, things. If you're, if you're not grabbing this because you're thinking, oh, can't be that $500 blender. Well, you're right in a way, this has more power. Yeah, it has so more power. It has more power. This has the same warranty as that one. Right. So seven, the seven years. years. Seven, seven years. Seven years. And then the other thing is, you're right in a way because theirs does not have this digital, you know, dashboard. Right. And the cool thing for me is, I, and I'm, I promise you, I'm not disrespecting that product because I bought one. I bought it, you know, from another network and sure. elsewhere. And it's 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 a great product. I just didn't have the wherewithal to do all the things that I know I can do with it, just because it's a little more complicated. The biggest complaint about it is the toggle factor. You have right. to stand out front and know how high and yes. when to pulse yep. and all that. And that's cumbersome because when we put stuff into a blender, we want to be done. We yes. want to push a button oh, and walk sure. away. Yeah. Um, or if you need to tamper a little, that's fine. But you right. don't want to be standing and babysitting and toggling yeah. and wondering for how long right. and all those things. Okay, Kelly, talk about what you're doing so right here. So skim milk, but I use coconut milk when I do it right. at home. You okay. could use coconut milk, soy milk, but your call. So skim milk yep. and frozen berries. Right. And you, you can see, the frost see on them? they're totally frozen. They now, you would not dream frozen. of yeah. putting that into your $80, $100 blender. You right. just wouldn't. It would burn out the motor instantly. Yeah. Um, and what's funny is a lot of things, those blenders, you know, that we do in our dash blender, those blenders say not to do in the manual. Yes. Like nut butters. It says don't do it in there because it's not, it doesn't have enough power. Yeah. But you've frozen, it could be anything. It could be mango. Sure. It could be, you know, whatever your favorite fruit. And then on this one, I'm just going to showcase that we're going to go up to high, but you could also use the frozen setting, right? Sure. I just want to show you that manual setting. Yeah. Um, I don't think I'll need 30 seconds, but let's see how much right. time this okay. takes. Sucking it in it there. Is the best noise. I know. Because <laughs> it's, you know, I, I, you know, when I started doing these presentations, everybody was like, what's going wrong? That is your motor working, it, it is. doing yep. what it's supposed to be doing. It, it actually pulled all of those frozen berries right into the quad blade and it just pulverized them it, so that you get basically a sorbet, but it's the consistency of like soft serve or like a gelato. Yeah. And you have to do it right out of the freezer. You don't get that consistency. It's a little soupier. You, you do. But check that out. Two ingredients, no processed nope, sugar, none. no preservatives, no chemicals. That is a dessert you could eat every single night of you your could. life and not and, feel bad. And not feel bad about it. Here's the other thing. I'll just show you this real quickly. And you know, it's it's like that, that direct Yeah, drive. steel to steel, yeah. So it's steel to steel. So that's, that's one of the reasons. I mean, yeah, is it going to make noise? Well, your lawnmower does too, and this sure. is more powerful than your lawnmower. Sure. But it's not plastic gears that are whirring and winding and melting. This is, you know, basically as close to a lifetime blender as you're ever, ever going to get. Oh. And if you thought about it, do it today, because we're doing that, that you know, this day only pricing. Of course, our aqua, it, we call it mint, you know, in-house. but It, it sold it's, out in the first it, show. It did. <laughs> so if you exactly. love aqua, So if you grab like it. that aqua, uh, please grab it now, because that always sells out. Yeah. Uh, should, uh, before we go to the phone, oh, is it Sharon? Sherelle in Mississippi just got it. Hi, Sherelle. It's Kelly and Shannon. Hi, Sherelle. Hi. Hey. So, Sherelle, what's going on in Mississippi? What made you decide to grab this? Uh, I'm so excited. I, I was watching you, and you, you heated up soup. You made the margarita and the smoothie. And the good thing, the one thing that sold me was I'm sitting here and I'm watching this, and that margarita and that smoothie still have not separated. You're yes. right. Oh, you know what? <laughs> Cheryl, I'm going to grab that so everybody can see that. Excellent point. You're right. There's the, the, the margarita. There's the smoothie, and we've been on this for about 20 minutes, and you're right, it hasn't separated. And uh, you have to be thrilled that you're making that decision to live healthier, too. Yeah. That's, that's incredible, because I'll make smoothies, and you know, you can put them in something, yep. and take them to go drink and while you're driving or something like that, and you're 
10 seconds later, they're it's just gross. completely yeah. You're going to love, it's love, love this blender. It's going to rock your world. It will not it disappoint. Will. You'll it's love absolutely it. absolutely true. Sherelle, thanks, thanks for, for stopping calling. by to say hi to us. Enjoy Thank it, okay? Thank you so much. Best to your good health. Thank you, Sherelle. <laughs> Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you. Take care. Uh, we were talking about special dietary needs. Yeah, sure. Gluten-free gluten flour. Gluten-free flour. This yep. is a dollar bag of white rice. If you've ever purchased gluten-free flour, you know it's about a hundred, um, excuse me, it's a expensive. thousand percent markup. Yeah. So it's, it's about expensive. $10 instead of a dollar for, uh, it's crazy. And you have to go to the specialty stores, blah, blah, blah. So do. dollar bag of white rice you can get anywhere. This yes. could be chickpeas or oats, anything that's naturally gluten-free, almonds. Yeah. But you could never do this in a traditional blender. You'd have to get a special, you know, ricer or flour yeah. maker. Watch as I go, and just watch on the bottom. I mean, it literally pulverizes it instantly. Yeah. And all I'm doing is just sort of pushing the rice down. You know, at some point you don't even need to do that. You can actually see it moving on its own. Right. Right? So you just get it going, get it started. And then you have your own. So if there's somebody in your family, like at my family, it's my brother. He's gluten-free and very seriously gluten-free. Yeah, it makes yeah. him very ill to eat gluten. Um, so he can now have fried foods again because sure. we can do gluten-free batter. He can now have pancakes, cupcakes, yes. muffins in the morning, cinnamon rolls, whatever you want to make with your gluten-free flour. Now you can do that. And it yeah. doesn't have to be rice flour. It could it be doesn't. almond flour or oat right. flour. I mean, you can choose and you can become your own barista as oh, well. Oh, sure. Oh, I mean, yeah. I know, right? We only have a few seconds remaining, but please remember Remember, this is a this day only offer. So if you want it with the free shipping and that that price and just that one day, and there's nothing better than freshly ground coffee beans. And if you want to go an extra few seconds, uh, fresh espresso. Right. I mean, whatever you want to do, because it happens so fast, it's not actually going to heat the beans, so you don't have to worry about that. No. It's going to grind it perfectly, it so will. you don't have to buy that you know couple hundred dollar coffee grinder. Now right. you can do your own fresh coffee, and now you can buy the bean coffee, which yes. tastes so much better. That's true. All right, I'm so sorry we have to. Scoot along, Kelly. Thanks. All right, Shannon, always. I'm going to save you a margarita. Please do. I will. I could use it. <laughs> All right, well, you could also use our LG Today special television now and find on sellout quantities. We'll see you in just a moment. Don't hang up on your blender. strive to live your best life, but with all the information out there, how do you know what's right for you? Join me, Brett Chuckerman, for Connected Life, Wednesday at 7 p.m. Our experts cut through the clutter and offer meaningful solutions for every aspect of your life at any stage. This is our opportunity to curate phenomenal products and to help inspire you to really reach the best version of yourself and live the best life that you're looking for. Get me high the start of the season.